Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Connection podcast. We're at Pub Chat. We're here at our favorite Irish bar here, BD Riley's, on a day that was just pissing down rain. But you know what? It didn't stop the diehards from being here, standing out in the rain, watching the match. And we beat Burnley 3 1. It wasn't always easy, but we came through at the end. Three points right now is all that matters. I got uh, Zach with me. Um, Zach, let's, real quick, let's go over the lineup. I mean, no Allison, late scratch. No Gomez, late scratch. Uh, Trent comes back in. Endo comes right back into the lineup after he's at the Asian Cup. So a lot of different pieces. You know, we still have the front three of uh, Jota, Nunez, and Diaz. Uh, Maka gets to play his preferred eight with Endo coming back in. You know, and um, shit, who's the other midfielder over there? Jones. So Jones starting midfield. So in the back four we have... Um, you know, Trent's come back in the lineup. Robbo's come back in as a starter. Kwanzaa and Van Dyke. A, a real surprise starting out that, um, you know, as we're looking to see the lineup before the game, that, that wasn't what we were expecting. Yeah, no, it was it was a funky one, and uh, I thought the bench was more appalling than the starting lineup, but it is what it is with the injuries. But, yeah, I mean, it was going to see – it was curious to see if Endo was going to kind of – pick up where he left off before he went to the Asian Cup. I thought he had a wonderful game, and um, he, he worked hard as he usually does. And I, I wasn't too off-put by the starting lineup. I mean, yeah, it wasn't something that we were used to, but, you know, Kanate is gone, so Kwanzaa had to step up. He didn't have the best game, but he's a young guy, so you can't put too much of that on him. But, yeah, I mean, we got the job done, but, yeah, the first 10 minutes looked a little, a little shaky, didn't they? Yeah, they really did. I mean, in defense of Kwanzaa, you know, when he plays with Kanate, he plays on the left. Right. When he plays with Van Dyke, he plays on the right. You have a, he's playing next to Trent, where even when Kanate plays next to Trent, it's difficult for Kanate to play, right. as we saw against Arsenal. And for putting the 20-year-old out there and he has to play that, that position, we're really no support from Trent. And it kind of really showed throughout the game. Yeah. And, and like you said, the first 10 or 15 minutes, we weren't at the races. We're, it looked like a team that had just been put together right before, yeah. um, you know, right before the match. Like, okay, you guys are playing together. So there wasn't a lot of synergy. We, we allowed them um, coming in on us. You know, with Burnley or any team that's coming to Anfield, you know, they have to play hard those first 10, 15 minutes yeah. anyway, yeah. and they're going to attack us. So we should be used to that. Um, we always start off slow for some reason. But with a Burnley team, you know, they're always going to they're looking for set pieces yeah. pretty much. Yeah. And we weathered the storm. We got our first goal, you know, with, with um, I think with Diaz scoring that first goal, you know. So, yeah, yeah. With teams like Burnley, with, with well, you know, when you're a top team like us or, you know, whatever, I hate to say it, City, but those teams possess the ball. So when you play teams of lower quality, like you said, they're waiting for set pieces, they're waiting for counterattacks, and they're you're generally going to start off quick. and. You know, they didn't have much of an uh, attacking threat besides Fofana, and he missed his chances. But there was a period there where it looked like they could have tied it up or they had two chances in a row where they could have potentially taken the league. And Kel Heller did, did all right. Um, Burnley came out strong, but at the end of the day, once Elliott came on, I mean, Elliott really, he, sh he shined. So You know, um, like you mentioned Keller here, he did make a couple key saves, yeah. you know, the one that was, was straight through our center backs, and oh, he came out yeah. there. And, it, and he closed up shop, and then obviously they just skied the, the rebound. Yeah, yeah. But that was such a key save. He made another save that was a, a kick save. Yeah. And so he's he's been slated a lot this season for not having the same um, impact that he had a, a couple years ago. But he's still probably the best backup keeper in the league. Oh, I would 100% agree that uh, he – He's there when you need him. He makes the good saves. Yes, there's there's times where he where there's those those kind of I would say routine. Nothing's really routine, but school ground saves he should make. And and I don't really fault him for the one today. It was poor marking in the box that that got to that goal. It was a great header on O'Shea and uh, Kel Heller did his best, but that was just you, you can only do so much. I thought he had a great game. Yeah, on that on the goal that they scored, obviously off a set piece, we shouldn't have given the right. set piece. It was a lot of breakdowns before we gave the foul away there. You know, I'm not sure why we have Endo and, and Lucho marking right there at the top. But, you know, that's that's their system. And um, it was a great header. Allison wouldn't have saved that. Yeah. So, I mean, anybody that said oh, Allison would have saved it, yeah, 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 yeah. get a grip. He was never going <laughs> to reach that. Yeah. So, you know, halftime we bring in, we, 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 we take Trent out. We brought Jones back into the right uh, back, bring in Elliott. 
And I hate to say it, we look so much better, more balanced, more secure. Yeah. Elliot, with his um, intensity in the midfield, really yeah. created problems. You know, and, and it showed. He got two assists today. Yeah, and Nunez's game only got better once uh, Elliot came in. Nunez was kind of quiet the first half, but once Elliot came in and started, you know, creating more avenues and becoming more of a chaos in his own right. Our, our true chaos, Nunez, was able to kind of sneak in there, and he and he, he got his goal eventually because of uh, of Elliot. But yeah, that second half, I mean, we we, we came out swinging, and uh, there were, like I said, a couple of times where Burnley were, were trying to do their worst, but Jones was so composed, and it was it's not the ideal position to have him. We were talking about how just ah oh man, Bradley, you miss Bradley and and, and that spot, and, and uh, but Jones did a hell of a job today, and it just. Once he went back there, it just kind of, kind of, took a deep breath. Almost that's that's the way I saw it. Yeah, he, he brought a little bit of composure. He does play the right back as a traditional right back. He didn't really did deviate from that position. He didn't create the openings that when Trent goes into the midfield, right. he creates those openings behind him. I think he's a better one-on-one -on -one defender, um, and I think he just technically, all around, he's such a good player. You know, he's just not kicking the ball out of there, right. and. You know, we did miss Bradley offering the width, I thought. Um, Robbo coming in on the other side, offered the width. How good is Robbo today? Robbo is good. I mean, just not being there. Right. You know, and it's a different game when he's going up the line. And one of the things that I do want to mention with with um, Trent playing today, we have still – oh, shit. Low battery. Low battery, folks. It's still going. Okay. So, anyway, we win 3-1. You know, it's on to the next game. We have a week off before we play again. And hopefully a lot of the people that were sick today get to come back. So Yeah, I mean, Brentford, next game, and just hope they take care of business and just keep on trucking. Yeah, at the end of the day, three points is three points. So until next time, subscribe, like, put on your notifications, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.